So they fired the Formula One race director. No more sassy massy. Is that a bit extreme to sack him? I mean, all right, he didn't handle the season finale incredibly well. There were a few questionable decisions, but it's not like he allowed a team to tell him what to do and then directly followed those instructions. And lapped cars will not be allowed to overtake. It's not mandatory. Obviously, those lapped cars, you don't need to, to let them go right the way around and catch up with the back of the yeah, pack. Understood. You only need to let them understood. go. Just give us a sec. And then we've got a motor race on our hands. Understood. Why aren't we getting these lap cars out of the way? Just give me, well, because Christian, just give me a second. Lapped cars to overtake the safety car. And it's ending, wow. It has left Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen side by side. Verstappen takes the lead of the race. Max Verstappen, champion of the world. Well, from that angle, it doesn't look good. But even after that, it's not like he then went to the losing team and gloated about it. Toto? You need to reinstate the lap before. That's not right. Toto? Yes. It's called a motor race. Motherfucker! <sighs> Michael. Well, fine. So he bent the rules a bit. Changing the outcome of a world championship. Polarising the entire Formula One community. Irreversibly damaging the reputation of the FIA. Ripping a hole through the very fabric of the sport. We've all done it. And it's not like this is the first time things got a bit twisted. Renault fixed a race by making one of their drivers crash on purpose. McLaren paid 100 million euros for spying on Ferrari. Lewis tried to kill Max at Silverstone. Max tried to kill Lewis at Monza. Senna tried to kill Prost at Suzuka. 9-11 was an inside job. The government's pouring stuff into the water supply. The moon landing was fake. JFK's still alive. Prince Andrew's a nonce. The royal family killed Princess Diana. But the real crime is how unbearable people have become. Even now, months later, they're still like, you know, since Abu Dhabi, I haven't been able to sleep. I forgot what food tastes like. I can't see colours anymore. I haven't had a wank since Christmas. It was ages ago. And they have sacked him. And I'm not sure sacking him was the right idea. Because you know how people go off the rails when they get fired? You've got to be careful with disgruntled employees. We believe it was a disgruntled employee. Everybody said he was a nice guy. And uh, they didn't. I don't think anybody foresaw this. Received a 911 call reporting that there is an out-of-control bulldozer. They can't tell who's driving it, but there is someone inside. Whether or not he should have been sacked is debatable, kinda. But one thing that has become absolutely clear from all of this is Lewis Hamilton's fans are insane and they should be locked inside a cage. I mean, every time Red Bull posts some on Twitter, the comment section is full of them saying things like, Max is a Mickey Mouse world champion. First of all, Mickey Mouse would never win a world championship. His car doesn't even have DRS. Secondly, out of the two of them, who looks more like a cartoon character? The truth is out. Max Verstappen does not deserve to be world champion. Go on and admit it, or try to spin that one! Exclamation mark. Calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. He's not gonna be fine ever! One of them... <laughs> Photoshop Michael Massey into the Making a Murderer poster from Netflix. Like, all right, he brought the safety car in a lap too soon, but he didn't kill anybody. Well, actually, we don't know that. But even if it did come out that Michael Massey was a serial killer and his house was full of furniture made from human skin, people would still be more outraged at the season finale. That's the level of psychosis these people have. Another tweet, and this one's great because it really highlights the F1 fans' ability to slag one team off for some of their favourite team does even more. I love Checo. Pity he is in a corrupt team and is being used because it's not like Mercedes have ever used Valtteri strategically to help Lewis. So you need to let Lewis fly into turn 13 this Valtteri Bottas has just let Lewis Hamilton pass. Or like they've ever done anything corrupt. You know, like install devices on their road cars to cheat emissions tests, hiding how terrible they are for the environment. 
Massey just bent the rules a bit. Mercedes is trying to suffocate us. And where exactly does that fit in with their driver's attitude towards climate change? You see, corruption is everywhere. It's inescapable, like Charles's banana costume. So where does Massey go now? Well, the FIA president, Mohammed bin Salem, more like Mohammed's bin sacking, because he's been sacking people. Terrible. Said in a press conference, Massey will be offered a new position within the FIA. This position will include a mop and a bucket. In addition, as part of a wider restructure of race control aimed at providing a calmer environment, direct radio communications between the teams and the race director will no longer be allowed. Are they taking the piss? A calmer environment. Michael Massey was the calmest, most cold-blooded motherfucker in the paddock. Were they even listening to the radio last season? Go ahead. Michael, that is all about let them race. Yep, no problems. That's why I'm just having a look at it. Jonathan, there is nothing further than that. Thank you for your input. Thank you for your receiving it. My pleasure. So, Michael, can I just confirm we can overtake on off the track if we're going around the outside of another car, yeah? No, you can't overtake off the track. Well, that's what Riken has just done. I understand. So, so it's OK? No, it's not OK. But, but it's OK for Riken. No, it's not OK for anyone. He sounds like he's in the middle of an overdose. If anybody needs a calm environment, surely it's Toto the Turtleneck Wolf. Toto, it's called a motor race, okay? We went... Car racing. <laughs> 